Thy God, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a night light on for you. That night light is Deuteronomy 4, verse 37. And because he hath loved thy fathers, therefore he chose their seed after them and brought thee out uh, in his sight with his mighty power out of Egypt. This verse and others remind us that the Lord God is a personal, relational God. He refers to himself possessively as thy God in other passages to convey that intimacy. The God of the Bible is not some distant, detached deity. He loved and chose the Israelites, delivering them powerfully. This verb, like loved and chose, reveal God's deep care for his people He initi- as he initiates relationship with us. God could have simply called himself the God. But instead, he says, thy God. He wants us to take a hold of him in a personal way, not approach him formally. He is our God belonging to us just as we belong to him. What a comfort. We can call on the Lord, our God, intimately knowing he hears us. We need not cry out to some far off supreme being. The Lord, our God invites us to converse with him, casting every care on him. God cares about the details of our lives. As Deuteronomy 4, 7 states, For what nation is there so great who hath God so nigh unto them as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for? He is near and involved in all the things that we face. Let us thank God today that he's not a detached, impersonal deity. Through Christ we have access to him as our God personally relates with him, we can boldly approach his throne of grace, knowing our, knowing the Lord our God cares for us deeply. What a blessing to serve a God who wants intimacy with us. Let's pray. Mighty Father God, I thank you for this day, and I do pray that you'd guide us through the tumultuous times that we face. Help us, God, to be rested in our relationship with you. Help us, God, to trust in your work on the cross alone to save us, not on any human merit or works. I just thank you, God, for your presence and your personal peace that saturates my mind and my soul as I go through my days. Help us, God, to follow you unswervingly. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.